Here's another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. Mark, we get a lot of questions about the Gaja Latte Art Panarello steam wands. Right, it was an accessory Gaja used to make that could replace the standard auto frothing wands on many Gaja semi and super automatic espresso machines. What was nice about it was that you could just slide off an outer sleeve and change from auto frothing, which requires very little skill, to full on manual frothing. Now, manual frothing requires more skill and practice, but get good at it and you can texture milk to a density appropriate for pouring latte art. Now that is possible with auto frothing, but not exactly easy to pull it off. So for whatever reason, Gaja no longer makes the latte art wand, but fear not, we're here to show you how you can still froth manually with what you already have and get a milk texture that'll work for pouring latte art. It's very straightforward, just take the Panarello wand off. That leaves you with a single hole manual style steam tip. On the Brera here, it's easy, just slide it off. On models with a wand retained by a screw on the cap, loosen that and remove all parts of the wand. So for the demo, you're going to do a flat white. They're really taking off in popularity. It's basically a short latte with more of an espresso kick. Right, some call it a wet cappuccino, some a short latte. Call it what you like, I call it delicious, but we'll make it with two ounces of espresso and four ounces of very finely frothed milk poured over the espresso in a preheated six ounce cup. So we're doing the espresso first using one of our favorites, Maromas Orphea. It's a reliable crema producer with a delicious chocolatey flavor and no bitterness. On the Brera, we've set our grind all the way to fine and the strength to three beans for the maximum dose. We programmed the machine to produce one ounce for a single espresso. So to get two ounces, we just press the espresso button twice. That gives us a two ounce double shot with a separate grind and tamp for each ounce. And that goes right into our preheated six ounce serving cup. All right, so the first thing we'll do is turn to steam here. We're gonna expel any excess water out of the wand. We'll wait for all that water to get out of there. Solid steam. Okay, then we'll turn that back to the center position. That's gonna let the machine know that we wanna steam. So it's gonna be heating up while it's doing that. We're gonna get our three ounces of cold milk into our pitcher here. The pitcher is also cold. Again, it's a toroid pitcher. It's got a shape that's gonna help us uh, get that swirl going. All right, so get going. We're just gonna get that tip underneath the surface of the milk and turn to steam. I'm going to find that spot, then we're going to lower the pitcher a little bit to get some air in. You want to get the air in as early as possible. While the milk's still cold, it takes a little better. And then once you get that air in, we're just looking for that spot that's going to cause our milk to swirl around. And then we're going to continue the steaming. And there we've got a pretty good swirl going. Uh, continue the steaming until uh, the pitcher is just starting to get to the point where it might be a little uncomfortable to hold, maybe even a little sooner than that. Got a great squirrel, swirl there, it's looking good. And it's feeling nice temperature-wise, so I'm gonna stop, always stop with the tip still in there. Put that aside, we'll wipe off our wand. Um, squirt it out, just get any milk off of there. And we'll take our uh, espresso over here. Now I'm no latte artist, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, we're looking for that, you know, kind of like a latex paint consistency there. So we've got nice microfoam. And pour that right, and I, again, I'm not a latte artist, but we'll give it a shot. And push that along, and we'll try and draw a little something. I don't know, sort of kind of a heart. Morgan, this one's for you. Oh, thank you. We did it on the Brera, but this should work with just about any machine with a removable auto-frothing wand. Mm, that is good. The fine texture of the milk makes all the difference. It sure does, and it's easy with a little practice. Want more videos like this one? Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. Hope you'll come back soon for more of our Whole Latte Loves Quick Tips on Everything Coffee. The number one source for everything coffee? WholeLatteLove.com.